something like that. Chinese uh, will be 大的包包,漂亮的包包,日本的包包 There's an imaginary third somewhere to modify the thing See, Japanese is this rule, basically See, all languages study is similar so I Okay, we know how to say expensive We know how to say not expensive Somewhere in the middle In the spectrum, very expensive Very, very High end, very all So then we can See, there's many very large You want to say hontoni takai, that's also can right? What's hontoni? Really expensive. Okay, this kind of adverbs, right? Uh, there's, there's a lot to, to learn, but you need always use the same one. Huh? I can put them okay. okay. Not so expensive. Yeah, yeah, right. I heard ah, uh, Amani, right? Okay, so there's a spectrum. Uh, okay, very expensive. You say Thai hand or put them, right? Excuse me, I don't know how to say it. Okay, then normal expensive, just say Takai. Okay, a little bit expensive. Ah, Choto Takai also can say Choto or Sukoshi. All okay, these are adverbs are different degrees. Sukoshi. Not so expensive. Amari. And must end with her? Negative. Negative, right? Amari Tasha Konaki. Can you see? So then, yeah. Yeah. Must end with negative. We got the extreme end, right? Not expensive at all. Zen Zen. Correct. Okay, one chef fuku. So Zen Zen must use negative. Okay, these are some random adverbs there. Enough for you to use in Japan actually. No knowledge. Okay. Question word. We have how to ask how is something? How is a bag? Kavanwa. Okay, we use country. Singapore. How is Singapore? Do that scar. You remember that part? Okay, maybe I write down my squeeze here. Because this question word is important. Okay, how is Singapore? We say Singapore. Do that scar. We are gonna define right. Okay, this is your how, right? Okay, if you know how, you should know the 1H5W. How do you say who? Yeah, yeah. Dare or Donata. Who, what, what? Nani? Nani or Nan? Right? Where? Doko or Dochira also can. Very good. When? Itsu. Correct. If you want to say Itsu, if you want to say Nanji, Nanbun, Nangatsu, Nanji, which day, which month, which hour also can. Okay, what am I missing? How many H are there? How many W? Oh, why? Yeah, why? Why? Doshte. Yeah, the first one you learn is doshte. Okay, in higher level you learn what naze la. Uh, a lot of other why's lah. Don't need to know so many. Okay. okay. So do is how. Okay. Another way of asking how is something we use dona. How to use dona? Yeah, must follow the noun right. Dona kuni desu ka? Okay. Dona translates to. Yes. What kind of correct? Okay. What kind of country is Singapore? You must know what kind of apple is that, okay, what kind of something like that. Then change your noun to Nihon wa do desu ka? You can change anything. How is this place? How is this food? How is my clothes? How is this or that? So now kind of. Okay, so question to everyone. Singapore wa do na kuni desu ka? Do na kuni desu ka? Okay. Okay. How to say it's small and very hot, something like that. Chisai. I think that's what I want. Sounds very wrong. Yeah, okay. Chisai desu. Right, Chisai kuni desu. Soshite. Atsui desu. Atsui kuni desu. Okay, something like that. You all know why you cannot do, right? Do is only to join two nouns. Adjective, we got a thing called a pair form to join, but that's in lesson 16. Okay, you use soshite to join. Soshite to join two adjectives and sentences also. Okay? Okay, the reason we cannot use to, uh, even though it sounds okay to your uh, or some of your uh, is because Chinese uh, we also don't use he for adjective. You say this thing called da he hao chi. We say you want to say it's big and delicious in Chinese for those you da you hao chi. You see we don't use he at all, right? It sounds funny, right? Right, this thing called da he hao chi. You know when I hear it, I'm so stunned. Yeah, that's why Japanese you say to a bit shocking also. Okay, it sounds weird to Japanese, uh, right? So that's the reason. Okay. Or well, not just use sushite for everything. Okay, nouns also can use sushite. You know why? Because sushite can join two sentences, right? You can say, uh, Nihon Jin desu sushite, uh, Niju Gosai desu. It's Japanese and it's 25 years old. You can just break into two sentences, it's fine. Okay? Otherwise, to is usually just two nouns only. Okay, finally, that's all for lesson 8 already. So let's take a look at your examples. Okay, I just summarized everything already. So it's just keep repeating. Right? Singapore doa, Chisai desu. Singapore is small. Next. Paragraph Singapore wa Chisai Kuni desu. It's a small country. Chisa Kunai desu. Not small. 
just got it. Okay, all this I don't explain. Okay, I summarize already. Negative, know how to use negative, know how to modify your object. You can make sentences like that. Let's skip to lesson nine. Okay, lesson nine. Right, lesson nine, we learn how to say like, don't like, good at that, at, right? Okay, the format we have to use is uh um, you know, I squeeze on top. Okay. Squeeze down. Okay, the format is always like that. Okay, watashi, always use watashi, watashi wa bingo ga. How does it other happen? Okay, you have suki des. Okay? Suki des. Why if you don't like apple? Okay. You can either kirai des or suki. They were arimasen. Okay, why they were arimasen? They are all nine adjectives, very good. Okay, so you use the negative rule, there's always there were arimasen. Okay, so kirai were arimasen. Who's the one and kirai is taoyen, more to hate. Okay, how to say good at? Jose. Jose, bad at? Heta. Okay, right, Jose and Heta. So we have to be careful. Jose and Heta. Okay, this are, how to say I'm good at Japanese? Yeah, we'll this. Right. Okay, how to say I'm bad at tennis? Tennis is not tennis. Let's change your apple to any other norm we do. Okay, then we form a sentence. Okay, this one is quite a simple sentence. Huh? Usually we teach your children class first, or the simple gram. Anything I'm missing? Okay, there are some verbs, right? Look at the bottom paragraph. Okay, I'm going to skip uh, the examples there. Huh? Okay, no, I don't no, no skip. Huh? But wakarimas, arimas, we must, we must use particle ga. Do you realize? You all memorize it, right? Did Nakai can say why? Nakai can say why? Or why do you all? My father will say why must use ga. Usually, no. Uh, usually, teachers just try to memorize. Yeah. Okay. Uh, native, native, native teachers, especially because uh, we have to. It's like you learn English and Chinese, right? Sometimes you just know. Like the example I asked you, right? How to say, I didn't go anywhere in Chinese. Nani to me o chi, right? Nani ye me chi, right? Literally, it's where also never go. Hence, do ko mo ikimasen. Where also never go. It is to be like that. How you know, you just know, right? It's either you use it before or. Since young, we talk like that, or you memorize by heart. Okay? So sometimes we really cannot explain, so it's not finding an excuse for myself. But <laughs> uh, sometimes we really cannot explain. Okay. Right? Okay, but I can roughly explain this part. Uh. So some of the books, right, we use, must use ga. Wakarimas, uh, arimas, imas. Okay. We use particle ga. Okay, usually when we have books, right, we use particle one to join the noun and the book. Particle O, right? Okay, but this case, right, we use God, there's a reason. Uh, other than memorizing, that could also never mention much. Actually, you think of English, right? Okay, what is Wakarimas? Understand. Understand. Okay, understand. What is Arimas? Exist. Have or has or existence, right? Very good. Okay, what is Suki? Like. like. Okay, you will learn a book, Idimas, learn before Idimas. What's Idimas? Okay, Irimas is need. I think our textbook may help you one. Okay, need uh, Irimas. Uh, it's a verb actually. I put it on the okay, Irimas. Uh, I. Okay, then we also know Koshi. What is Koshi? Once. Okay, very good. Okay, once. Let me ask you a question. All these verbs, do you see a pattern? No. Compared to all these verbs? No, uh, no, 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 I last. You ask me. Do you see a pattern? How are they different from all these eat, drink, sleep, all these verbs? Do you see a difference? Okay. Something like that, right? You sort of see a pattern, right? Some students tell me English got three types of verbs. Then I ask her, then she said, what kind of She also don't know. But she knows about three types of verbs. Maybe something like English, uh, you notice these kind of verbs, there's no physical action. You know what I'm saying? I want something. It's a verb, but it's not under physical action, like eat, la, write, la, sleep. So hence, they have to use particular. Uh, that's, that's roughly the pattern. Uh. But usually in E1, we ask you to memorize. Uh, what kind of you confirm use uh, You use O, it's wrong. Something like that. Okay, that's how I was how I learned so well. But now it's something else. Because J Japanese is a problem. You see, like English is a, it's a verb, right? Japanese is a adjective. adjective, not adjective. Once English is a verb, hoshi is a e adjective. You see, ni then it's a verb. You see, they just yeah, jumble up here and there. So memorize a bit here and there. You should, you should get it. Really. Yeah. So that's the pattern. This only is a wrong particle. Okay. Anyway, particle got translate to what's the translation of particle? No translation. Yeah, like particle of no translation. So again, they just conveniently omit it. Yeah, like sushi dai suki des. For example, like, oh, I like sushi a lot. Where's the car go? Disappear. <laughs> Conversation disappear is okay. Right, so paper cannot cannot omit it. Okay. okay. So this is roughly your lesson lesson nine maybe. Okay, we continue to read lesson nine. Let's get on. Who's next? Let me stop just now. Okay. Oh, where did I 
So, animas, animas, what's the difference? Living and unliving, living Yes, what about that, right? Okay. Okay. Let's go to the last lesson. Finally, lesson ten. I mean, I erase the part. Okay. I think you all still need this part. Not anyway. Right. Okay. You all can. Yeah, just erase this. Okay. Lesson ten. Only two sentence structure. Okay. Something wa, something ni. Okay. Or something ni, something ga. Okay. Actually, wa and ga is about the same. You will know the difference of wa and ga in intermediate two. Okay. We have a book. 400 pages about these two particles. Yeah, but no need to know. <laughs> yeah, so we uh, but we summarize it roughly for you all. Okay, can be the same meaning. Uh. Okay, but no need to care about one. Okay, why is just a subject? Uh. Okay, from this sentence, can be more clear. Can you understand? Okay, whenever there's a need, right, it will be a place before it. Okay, because the need here translates to. X, okay, I, I don't know the translation, uh, X or Zai also. Uh. Okay, this X is for place, not for time. Uh. But, but we learned the X just now right here. What's the difference between this X and this X? That one is where it exists. Huh? That one is what? Where it exists. Oh, exists, okay, correct. This is, there's something at there. Existence, verb, arimas, imas, then use me. Okay? This that is for physical actions. That means you eat at there, drink at there. That's the difference, okay? Some people always uh, use wrongly, but be careful. Uh. Okay, existence will only be used. Okay, I must must. Okay, from this sentence, okay, uh, let's say, can be an object, can be a living thing also, right? Okay, how do you say apple is on top of the table? Okay, so, bingo, ah. Sukueno. Ueni arimas. Okay, so this is your playlist where the thing is. Okay, this format, do you remember? Okay, so of course positions, you have to know the first eight. I always tell my class, they are N5 kanji, what's up and down? Okay, shita, what's left and right? Yeah, shirani and nihi. Okay, what's in front and behind? Mai and ushiro. And then the last one is inside, outside, yeah. Naka Soto. Okay, this eight is in your first eight vocabulary in lesson ten E1 textbook. Okay, the kanji you have to know for M5. Yeah, especially those who are taking the exam have to recognize this. Okay, and you already can see some uh, have two, three readings, right? Okay, for example, my what is the other reading you saw just now? Yeah, Zen, right? Go Zen, right? Wu Qian, the AM, Go Zen. Then this one? Go Go, the Go, right? But this kanji got three readings. Just now about Go Go, the Go, right? The other one is Ako. Remember Ako then? 
later the after that. Yeah, it looks something like that. Yeah, I see you later, Mata after that. Why also name really? Because like Chinese are uh, this kanji, this ho can have a lot of meaning. Like ho can be zhi ho, ran ho can be ho mian, you know that kind of things. Yeah. So we we will learn one at a time. Okay, one at a time. I think we saw a few before. Yeah. Then this is nata. The other reading you saw just now. Chu right? Chu goku no chu. This one is soto. Then the other reading. Why why ho? Guy guy goku guy goku jin foreigner that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Just tell you one different. Okay, from this context right on the whiteboard. Then now I use the bottom one. At this place got something or someone, right? How to say in the classroom there's a teacher? Kyoshitsuni, <laughs> okay? Or Kyoshitsu no? Nakani also can. Okay then? Okay. Yeah, Imas or Ima? Okay, depends on living or non-living, okay? So uh non living flower is under here, animal under here, you all know that, right? Okay, next example, how to say uh if you use the first the on top one. Daiso is in JQ. Daiso. Daiso one. JQ no naka ni or JQ ni ki because why I don't need the no naka? Why is it optional? Because ni itself is in on at. In on at yeah. Can be all in terms of yeah. So you say at also can. At JQ and JQ also can. Okay. Next, how to say the library is behind JQ? JQ no? Ushiro, yeah. Ushiro, this one. Ushiro, no space. Ushiro ni arimasu. Ten. Okay, um, the toilet is above McDonald's. For that one? Maku, Maku Donaldo no? Okay, can? Right. My friend is in front of KFC. Kumodachi wa KFC no Mayeni Imas. Okay? Okay, these are just real life situation like you think of it. Okay? Instead of ni animas ni imas, we can just simply say this. Yes, right. Toilet wa JQ no naka des ken. Okay, it's a shortcut lah, but this one is sounds nicer. This one is at there instead of at there. Okay, what was it? Okay, yeah, I missed anything from this part. I think lesson ten nothing much. Okay, very good. Let's continue reading the last few examples. Who's done with it? So uh, so far right, uh, yeah, classroom got dictionary, the room got teacher, right? Patrick mm -hmm. right. Okay, next. Mm. Right. Okay, tonari. You all remember tonari? Beside, yeah. Okay, it's actually the for some people can recognize it, uh, but actually it's the M one kanji. Uh. And one kanji means all the 20 strokes one. Uh. So, yeah, can recognize the different, but your, the vocab point for the tonari, right? It's, uh, it's uh, beside, next to, I think. Okay, next example. Right. Okay, below the table, right? Below the table, right? That's a cat. Okay, and I see the next four, I think it's a uh, repeat, right? They just sort the order only. Okay, so what's the difference? Uh, you look at the whiteboard. Daiso wa JQ no naka ni arimas and JQ no naka ni daiso ga arimas. What's the difference? I just thought the two, right? Here yeah, the difference is not much, right? It's just uh, inside daiso, uh, daiso is inside JQ. Uh, J inside JQ, there's a daiso. So it depends what's your question. Uh, like where is daiso? You probably say the first one. Or oh, daiso is there. Okay? Uh, or you say inside, the J inside JQ got what? Oh, inside JQ got daiso. Yeah, we can use the other one. Okay, basically Q and A should be the same format. Okay, but in real life it doesn't matter. Okay, can you say it wrong? Okay, finally, look at the paragraph below. Please memorize hiragana thoroughly <laughs> before starting lesson 11. So after one round, I know who cannot hiragana, who's slow, who's fast, it's okay, because uh, reading phase is always the first. Right? So as you read more, you will read faster and faster. 
So please memorize your hiragana because why you're gonna start katakana? Okay, but katakana I'm gonna let you all at your own pace. Usually by half the course everyone should be able to read the katakana. Half the course means on uh, end of March, uh, okay? Yeah, I got a paper for you. Okay, so student ask me right, how do you study katakana? Then I ask that how do you how do you study hiragana? Uh, something like that. Uh. Okay. So you all try and don't worry. As you all start writing, it's automatic. Right? It's actually like, please take one each. Okay, but firstly, when do you use katakana? Yeah, I'm sure you all know quite well when to use, right? Yeah, borrowed words are uh, words that uh, Japanese don't really have. Uh, can be English, can be according to Malay, French, any borrowed words. Huh? It yeah, can be everything. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, the whole. What's the last? Okay. One more. Okay. Take a look at this paper. Katakana is katakana is right. Yeah, translated, translated. Okay, example like large or tiny is both the All this you should know already. Quite easy. Okay, for long vowels, right? Katakana is easy. Just put a dash. Okay. My favorite word in katakana is this one. Go to Japan for more than This one. Actually, I know some people can read it. Uh, ramen. Okay. The dash for what one? Long vowel. Ramen. Okay, ramen. So it's the uh, ramen. Okay, then double consonant, they use a small tzu. Okay, some of you already realize, right? Small tzu looks like a smiley face, right? Okay, it looks like she, right? Some those who study already, you all should know. Okay? Yeah, just have to remember, lah. Because everyone did remember. Okay? How do you tell the difference? Difference, lah. Okay, difference between she and tzu, lah. Just, uh, addition info. Okay, you all can slowly start learning. Uh, difference, actually, if I write bigger, can tell quite easily. Nope. Still cannot, okay. Okay, <laughs> which is she? Okay, this is she, this is tzu. Okay, by right, the dots are top and bottom. This is left and right. Yeah. Okay. If you want to be even clearer, right, the, the stroke also got difference. I think this one you go here. This one you go here. Something like that. Yeah, but you, the problem is because of no one. People cannot tell. Okay, it's supposed to be the dots at the different spots. So and so. Okay, so and so. Good question. The rest of the world are doing it. It's not only for one. It looks the same way. Okay, actually, right. The difference is the ratio, okay? This one, the ratio is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Is it correct or not? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, if I want to exaggerate that clearer, so it can be longer. But if you're too long, it looks like... So that really, really, then how? Then slowly figure out. Don't know why, I also don't know how. No, I can tell, I can tell. Okay, actually, Ng is very flat, very hard to say, very thin. Yeah, it's actually very, can be until like that, but it's like that, okay? So it's more to like a V shape. Yeah, I know it's the same, lah. it's the same. Okay, your textbook have katakana? Your E1 book should have, right? Okay, I, I think I can prepare a list for you to, to, to practice, lah. Probably something I get from Daiso for children. Right? Then you all can, can refer, okay? But anyway, there are special words uh, that only katakana can form. Like you see, fa, fi, fe, fo. Hiragana don't have, right? Hiragana we got ha, hi, fu, he, fo, right? So something like yeah, Philippines, the country Philippines, you have to use this. It's a, actually a fu and a small e. Yeah, katakana form such words to help you to read some harder words. You rarely see them, but you will still see them. Okay, how do you know all this? Uh, when the time comes, you slowly take them. Yeah, it, it will come as you keep seeing them, right? So now, I cannot be asked you to memorize all this, because just the first 46 should be more than enough. Behind will be easier. Okay, let's look at the back. Okay, in fact, all the vocabulary you should know, provided you can read katakana. Okay, for example, tomato, potato. Okay, straight all right. Potato, tomato, tomato. Okay, cabbage is one. Cabbage, very good. Okay, let's read the next word together. Cauliflower. Cauliflower, very good. Which is? Cauliflower. Yeah, cauliflower. Okay, cauliflower. Next one, us. Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, uh, which is uh, asparagus, uh, correct? Uh, so you need katakana why? I have seen menus uh, all jet, all katakana. Uh, you cannot read them how you order and how point cannot right? So you need to memorize katakana. Okay, next word. Let's read next word. Banana. banana. Followed by melon. Melon. Then grapefruit. Next. Pineapple. Until here, right? Okay, you see, all fruits can be written, read and written in katakana. We have a Japanese version also, right? Strawberry? Ichigo. Ichigo, very good. Uh, grape? 
the grape is all Budo, Budo. Ah, this country is Budo, same as Chinese, okay? Then some words like banana, I don't think about the China, Japanese equivalent. Maybe don't have, okay? So you, got, you like fruits, go and check Google. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fruit tree also very big. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of fruits. Okay, next word, see who can. I know some can read. Can anyone? K E. Very good, next. Cheese. So the menu got cheese, K E. Means what? Cheesecake. Cheese so okay, you can katakana, you can buy for your Next word will be? Kare rice. Kare rice. rice. Very good. Okay, next. Cookie. Cookie. The, the, the smiley face is a double K. It's double consonant. Cookie. Okay, next. Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah, okay. Chocolate. Okay, because uh, it's a chi and a yo. Kyo. Chocolate. Okay, chocolate. Okay, stop here. Can we? I know some of you all don't understand a single thing. Okay. But some more are very good. It's always like that one. Okay. Uh, we will come back to this paper a few weeks later. So hopefully a few weeks later, you'll get better at katakana. Okay. Try to recognize. A few weeks are maybe like two, three weeks. Take your time to study katakana. Okay. Once you know, you know for life. Right? Like hiragana. You can never forget. Uh, I think. I hope. Okay. Then okay, keep this paper. You don't need this anymore. Okay, let me give you an exercise to do. Okay, I just need you all to do the first page. The rest will be your homework. Okay, just do the first page. We will go through the first page. I'll give you like 10 minutes to do the first page. It's all MCQ. Okay, it's a, uh, this are uh, N5 selected N5 questions. Yeah. First yeah, just the first piece of paper, like question 1 to 5 and then the and then the 1 to 4. Yeah, this whole page. You all can start doing that. I'll go through it in 5 minutes. You want to discuss also, can? Okay. Any extras? Let's try it. Right, uh, if you notice, right, your question paper, okay, let me go through roughly. Yeah. So, Mondai Ni, right, the question here. Tsugi no bun no blank no kokoro ni nani wo ire masta. Okay, usually when you reach JLPT examination, right, you nobody read the instruction. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, we may, okay, no, no, save the time. Okay, it's actually all about the same. Uh, just read the blank. Okay, basically, Tsugi no bun. Tsugi is next. Bun is text. Okay, the next text. No tokoro means that this place. Nani wo iremasu ka? Iremasu is insert or put in. What do you put in the blank? Something like that. Okay. Ichi ni san yon kara. Ichiban i mono wo hitotsu erande kudasai. Okay. I as one two three four from one two three four. Ichiban i mono misa. First number one yeah best. Okay, the best thing or number one good thing. Please choose one. That's all. Okay. Right, and then in your E N five test, right? There's no romaji, yeah. But for now, we just started E two, so there's still uh, all the romaji, not the A B C lah. But right, it's all hiragana only. Okay, right. So you always try this page, and we go through that in a while.